Hello. So the biggest discovery to get into the unknown is to break on through the other side by oneself. And to do that, I would like to share my journey with you up in the hills and the clouds of Meghalaya and share with you my journey of the arts, crafts, and culture of the state. One biggest unknown for me was nature. Nature was something that was like a rabbit hole that pulls me back to my roots. And I didn't understand that in the beginning. And I was working in Mumbai for a decade, over a decade. And that's when I realized that there is a lot of shift in my life and I need to kind of contribute and work towards sustainability. So I was born and raised in Meghalaya and this is where I come from. And I realized after I move out of my state and I kind of experienced many other things and I was working in Mumbai with one of the biggest company and uh, I realized that that was not my calling. So when I moved on, I realized that there was a shift in my journey and I needed to share with you that because of this shift that we see in nature, the mess that we noticed around us with the environment and also the other species, that's when I realized that we are in trouble. So I moved back to my roots and this is the hills in Chaindya Hills, it's called the Sung Valley, that's when I realized that I need to spend time and Meghalaya, as you know, it's one of the wettest places on the planet. And also, it is, it's got a beautiful, pristine, scenic beauty with a lot of abundance of natural resources, which we are not aware of. So back to my roots, when I got back after 10 years, when I was trying to kind of revive back, I realized that I need to travel to these unexplored territories and understand the meaning of land. So when I moved back to my state, I kind of traveled to various clusters and learned many other things because also side by side, I was teaching in a design school and realized that through design, I'm sure that there's many things that I can contribute and share with the rest of the people in that area. So I moved around and noticed that uh, there's a lot of problem in just not just the craft sector, but also in nature. We see a lot of other shifts also in terms of the interest, the loss of interest of the younger generation to kind of continue this trait and also to preserve the, the heritage of the state. So that's when I realized that I need to discover the materials, the cultures and traditions of the state and also realize that the only way for me to do is to discover it myself and also give back to nature. I learned materials in Meghalaya. That's when I wanted to communicate more with the materials. So clay is one thing. When I moved back to my village, I worked with a community of potters over there who makes traditional pots. So those were just an, a product which would just work around in that area. So I thought, this is such a beautiful craft. Why don't we continue and rework on this particular craft and share it with the rest of the world? So through design intervention with many other materials, we also learn that we can build a better range of products, adding more value. So for me, I connected with the artisans and moved on to many other realization. And also after noticing all these beautiful raw materials, at the same time, I noticed the meaning of land. It's not just these beautiful materials that you notice. It's also the way we take care of nature and how we also can provide and sustain this. What we see is the abuse, what was sacred, a land which is supposed to have a sacred meaning to the forest is now being destroyed. I also notice how they've got scars in all most of our hills when I travel and there's a lot of mining activities, a lot of things which has shift over time. So. It was kind of very heartbreaking to notice that, you know, the whole land that we have at one point would eventually disappear. So that's when I learned to connect with the people and I went to this village in Wakhen. They have this beautiful 
uh, craft of instrument making and also I visited many other craft clusters where they practice bamboo weaving, pottery. I learned a lot from these people because for them it's they're very rooted, they still follow and the beliefs are still very much connected to their surrounding in these remote areas. And for me, I wanted as an artist to express myself and I thought the only way for me is to speak it out and understand and do something through sound. So in 2013 is when I moved back and I started writing, composing because this journey for me was a lot of learning. It was like a dance, you know, to the tunes of nature and that's when we started this as a part of a ecological art project which we have along with many other artists and musicians in Meghalaya we kind of come up with this experiment to express our sound and understand nature in a more better sense. So through this music we learned a lot and the only way to do it is through learning and sharing and that's when I met Peter another designer from NID and we both thought we should travel and kind of revive because a lot of things have been just left behind. It's untouched almost. So we went back and kind of work with these artisans and try to find the solutions to many problems and also the challenges that we face because working in these communities, it's very challenging because of the remoteness. There's a lot of lack of communication that we can kind of contribute. So we kind of over 10 years now spend a lot of time. It was not just an overnight journey, but we spent time and understood the people and the environment and also where these material come from and how we kind of sustain ourselves and revive what was lost. So soon after that, we started with uh, this collaboration with various clusters of Meghalaya from the instrument makers to the potters to the artisans who work with bamboo, pineapple fiber, many other natural resources that we can find in, available locally. We came to this place in Reboy district in Meghalaya and that's when we thought we should build a sustainable system and try and contribute and that's when we started conducting workshops. We did a lot of design interventions and did a lot of a much needed R&D. So we did a lot of development prototypes with the artisans. It was a big understanding for both end and we learned from each other a lot and that's when I think the beauty of many kind of innovation happens when you kind of open yourself and learn from the others. So we also thought that we should also be able to sustain ourselves. So this place is built so that we can also grow our own food and be able to kind of be interdependent and through nature around us and also protect. So we came up with uh, a brand which is called Dakti and this is where we create high value products and experiences. Dakti is a Khasi word which means uh, by the hand. It also means to protect the hand which is Daya Kikti. It also means the impressions of the hand. So everything that we have as human is our hands. We just have our hands to kind of protect ourselves, also to make something and carry forward. So we started creating these valued products and trying to kind of bring forth and share through these interventions. So we are able now to kind of work with many more clusters. Even though these crafts were slowly dying, we can see now the people they are beginning to understand so we take them along with us and create a lot of these awareness programs in these villages and we've taken our products now to other parts of India and also around the world and we've got a very good uh, response and uh, people are beginning to understand that you know we there is something like an identity which has still been revived over the time and we are happy to kind of share with you also and celebrate and preserve this tradition and conserve nature at the same time. So we created this platform for artisans where we bring in the arts, craft, food, music under one platform and we share it with the rest of the world and demonstrate the craft. At the same time we perform and give whatever we have learned and share it with the rest of the world.
So it was a beautiful experience that we had and we came up with another intervention in Meghalaya with the support also from other clusters that we got in many other people who can share their stories because these are all hidden stories in these pockets, remote areas in Meghalaya. So we're able to kind of bring in and add so much more value so that they are proud to say that they can do this. So we have a store now running in New Delhi and it's a space to experience and also we are looking forward to be able to take this craft because it was at one point of time a dying craft but eventually we would be looking forward that in the near future we will be able to share it with the rest of the world and make this world a more beautiful space. So just I realized that with just one little step into the unknown, one small step into the unknown, can be a giant leap into the known. And for me, I would like to share that, you know, to really get into a space and understand the space, you have to understand the people, also the nature around it, the environment around it. And that is the only way to look forward to have a greener future and also to be able to live a responsible and sustainable life. So that is from my end and this is my story. Thank you.